this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss as usual a very important SQL interview question. This question is popularly known as year on year growth rate SQL problem. This question has been asked in many of the multinational companies and farm companies. That's why this question is very very important. It is very important for whether you are a, a data analyst aspiring candidate or data engineering aspiring candidate or business analyst aspiring candidate. So now I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step sol solution for this very problem. First the problem statement. There is a table called user transaction which contains information about the XYZ company. It has all the details of user transactions for different different products. Now what we have to do, we have to write a SQL query to cal calculate the year on year growth rate. You can see over here for the total spend of each product. Now let me go in little bit of detail. Uh, let, uh, for example, uh, I have taken product ID equal to 101. For this, you can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, total of 5 transactions. So, rupees 50 was spent on year, in the year 2021, rupees 75 was spent in the year 2022, and uh, to, in 2023, there are 2 transactions, 100 and 200, and in 2024, there is 150 rupees transaction. Now, if you will see in the output table, in the current year spend, we have 50, 75, but 300 is there. So what is happening for the same year, we are uh, summing the spend, right? Uh, so 200 plus 100 becomes 300. So we are calculate, calculating total spend in a year and that we are populating as a current year spend. In the what, what we are doing in the next step, we are doing, uh, we are calculating previous year spend in the, uh, you can see over here. And once we have found the previous year spend, then we are calculating year on year growth rate. So you must be aware there is a very famous formula for calculating the year on year growth rate. It is the difference between the current year spend and previous year spend divided by previous year spend into 100. So now I'm going to walk you through the step by step solution uh, for this very, very problem. So let's let me switch to SQL Server. Before proceeding to the solution, let's try to understand what does this year-on-year -year growth mean. So basically, it is the difference between the current period value and the last period value divided by last period value into 100. So this formula will give you the year-on-year -year, uh, growth, what is expected. Now let's see what our input table is uh, there. What is there in our input table? So this is our input table and we have the four columns, transaction ID, product ID, spend and transaction date. Now what we have to get in the expected output table, these are the columns which are expected in the output table. Years, product ID, current year spend, previous year spend and year on year growth rate. Um, if you see this uh, from these columns, we have only one column available that is product ID rest all columns we have to derive it so we'll start uh, deriving one by one so first we'll derive years column so i'm going to take this table itself uh, source table and then i'm going to derive years so how i'm going to derive i'll use a function years on the column transaction date and it will fetch me year so i'm going to write here and this column transaction date as let's say years so we are able to get this column now what is the second column is needed it's a product id it, we can get this directly from the our input table now what is the third column current year spend is needed so what is current year spend current year spend is the uh, the spent uh, total spent for that product id and for that very year so if you see in 2021 50 rupees was spent 2022 75 rupees was spent for product id 101 and for 2023 you will see there are two transactions 100 and 200 for this product id 
right and for 2024 150 rupees was spent so in order to get the total spend for each year we'll have to do a we have to use some function and we have to do a group by product id and the year right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to use some function and in this we have to use the spend and then we have to uh, group by group by product id column and for that very year also well right so we'll use this year and we'll give this alias as current year spent okay so let me run this piece of code and now you can see that we are able to derive three columns years product id and current year now see for this product id 101 let me do a first order by then we'll have the better picture order by and we'll do order by product id let's say now if you see there are uh, for year 2023 there is only one transaction now right because it has summed the uh, two years spent uh, so uh, not two years two uh, two two months uh, spent in 2023 so now you have a uh, all the uh, current year spent data available now what is our next target next target is to achieve previous year spent so how we can achieve that we can achieve previous spare uh, uh, year spent by using a lag function so uh, for lag function we will but again we will need this um, uh, current year spent right uh, so what we have will have to do we'll have to place this query into a one ct so we'll use with CT underscore let's say current as and I'm going to close this and we'll do comma now I'm going to start another CT let's say current underscore previous as and open the bracket and then here what I'm going to do uh, I'm going to select select all these columns right uh, years product id current year spent now i will be deriving another column from ct current so i will be utilizing this ct current table and will drive another column called previous year spent so for that i'm going to use lag function and i will be utilizing uh, using lag function on column which column current year spent so i'm going to use current year spent over and then we'll have to give partition bar we have to do all this uh, within a within that product id right partition so we have to do a partition by product id and we have to order by order by years and we'll give alias as what is the column name previous year is spent So let me run this piece of code now. Select star from ct underscore previous um, year. We have selected years, product ID, current year spent, and then lag of current year spent over partition by product ID, order by years. So let me run this piece of code. The order will close. Yeah. So this order by is not needed over here. It's right. So let me run this piece of code. Now you can see 
that we are able to derive previous year as well see for two, for this very product in 2021 50 rupees was spent in 2022 75 rupees was spent but for this 2022 year what was the previous year data 50 rupees data was there so 50 is coming for this uh, 2023 year uh, 2023 I spent is 300 and what was the previous so 75 rupees is the previous so 75 is coming here so for the uh, year 2024 150 rupees is spent and for previous is 300 so 300 is the previous year now we are able to derive previous year spent as well now what is left now we have left we are left with only one column that is year on year growth rate so for that what we will do it is very simple we have to apply this formula so here I am going to select all these columns and we will select this previous spend as well okay and now I am going to derive another formula uh, sorry for uh, another column and that what uh, for that what I am going to do I am going to do a difference of current year spend minus previous year spend and we have to divide by divide by previous year spend and then what we have to do into 100 but we have to round also up to two decimals so what we can what we have to do so what we have to do here hmm. let me do one thing let me put this inside this and then let me use round function decimal place and we'll give alias as what alias we need we need year on year growth rate so we'll put over here and now let me run this piece of code in correct sentence near previous year spend so previous year spend okay here we have to divide right so let me run this piece of code here you go you got the, ex the expected output here we are able to drive year on year growth rate as well and you can see the uh, what is the year on year growth rate for uh, each product id for each, this product id we have uh, year, on year on year growth rate and for this product id also we have here so this is how uh, we can write this SQL code to get this year-on-year -year growth uh, problem solved. If you know A by any way, any other way by which you can solve this problem, you can write it in the comment section. And if you have liked my video, please give thumbs up and share with your friends. Thank you.